Good afternoon. It's such a beautiful day here. Let me flip the camera so you can see the ocean too. I'm really excited because my make at home bubble tea kits just arrived. I love all kinds of milk teas. My favorite one, favorite one right now is tiger sugar. But we don't have any tiger sugar shops here where I live. So I needed to order make at home kits to fulfill my cravings. I ordered three different ones from Yummy Buy. I actually never ordered from them before, so I'm super excited. And I was thinking we can test them together and see which one is best. Maybe they're all good. We'll see. Let's go downstairs. I doubt it though, but we'll see. It's a little bit interesting to think about how, I don't know about your personality, but my personality, I hate wasting time. <laughs> but I love enjoying life. So like going to get a bubble tea, you know, things like that. I, I like to do it, but I don't do it enough. So if I can have the convenience to do something in the house and not have to go out and save time. Ten seconds later. Um, it's about balance, I guess. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any favorite uh, bubble tea. Ooh, fun. Ooh, looks so good. My favorite flavor is um, brown sugar, <laughs> in case you didn't notice. I want to try this guy first. is to add two more ounces of water or milk but i think it needs more than two ounces maybe it'll um be watery but i want to add a bit more i got this today grass-fed i usually don't drink milk i drink almond milk but for milk tea this is the way to go for me Okay, it's the moment of truth. Cheers, skull. Come back. I made it too watery. It tastes okay, but I made it too watery. My bad. I like the boba. They're very good. Maybe I should just add another packet. Okay, now I have two packets in here. Yeah, that tastes a bit more like i want it to be if you like a mild flavor then this is definitely for you very mild um not too sweet super super light flavor profile and the boba is excellent anyway i hope you guys had a good week i had a good week it's friday now the sun just went down this was my friday night activity <laughs> um I guess I'll be doing this all weekend because I don't feel like having three bubble teas now. I'll make the other ones tomorrow, Saturday. Bye! Tomorrow. Good morning! Oh wow, it's not sunny today at all. 
Look at this. Whoa. <laughs> anyway, it took a while for me to fall asleep yesterday because I had drunk and I had drunk. I drank two. <laughs> I drank two of those packets of tea. So I was like a little wired up. But today we're gonna make another one. But first, I think I'm gonna have tuna for breakfast. I usually have oats for breakfast, but I went to Italy two days ago and I got sea urchin and I got some good cold cuts and cheese and stuff. And I also got tuna. And being that I ate like kind of carbs and those boba yesterday, I think I'm gonna have some protein for breakfast. I decided I'm gonna have the tuna for lunch instead because I also got this and this in Italy and a bread. So I'm gonna have a very Scandinavian breakfast, which is a slice of bread with something on it. Usually cold cuts or cheese. Some people eat with pate. Anyway, oh, let's go. By the way, I wrote a poetry book. It's going to come out on Amazon in April, in the middle of April. And I'm going to read a poem for you. The space. The space between your words seems like the space between worlds. I listen with my heart to what you don't say. I don't need a conch to telephone the reverberations of your endless currents. I don't need a spaceship to visit outer space when I have an unexplored ocean right here on my own planet. Oh, so good. This is like my treat. I do it once a month. I order um, delivery from Italy or I go get great food at Italy. And their tuna is amazing. You saw how tender it is. This one goes back in the fridge for tomorrow. The time has come. I promise I'm not gonna add extra liquid this time. It says to only add 80 milliliters of cold water to this guy. So I will. And ice. Okay, this is what I don't get. I added 80 milliliters. It says 80 ml. There's 100 milliliters and one deciliter. I should know because I'm European. 100 milliliter, I added this much. And then, that's it. It says to add ice after that and nothing else. I guess that's the minimum and then you can add more if you want or let me taste it like this first. So this one is without boba, obviously. Whoa. Okay, you're supposed to add your own stuff. Mmm, I love it. So far, this is my favorite. So in this guy, they have added Moscovado flavor. And I think that's why it's my favorite. Ooh, it's windy. Mmm, thumbs up. I wish it came with boba. 
but awesome. And then last but not least, I'm gonna try this guy. It says to actually microwave it before you put ice in. So I'm gonna do that. fruit taste or I'm not sure if that's the correct description but it tastes more like like a bouquet of flowers <laughs> to me I mean it's brown sugar taste but in a more creative way and it also tastes lighter because it only has that milk creamer powder whatever it is in it and nothing like that the boba are much better in the other packet my favorite is definitely this guy. It's because it tastes most similar to tiger sugar. But any one of these guys will hit the spot if you have a craving. So thanks for watching the test with me and doing the test with me. This was fun. Maybe we should test something else in the future. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you didn't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!